I chose to do my mystery shop at the Boots store in the Metro Centre Gateshead. Upon arrival to the store, it was really clean and tidy and easy to find. It was a lovely open front um, and I started downstairs. I knew I wanted some makeup and some hair products um, and had a little look around the shop for um, signs that could direct me where I needed to go. Um, I found myself looking more at what was on the shelves um, when I was looking for the hair care rather than the signs because they were quite often hidden behind um, other posters. Um, I did eventually find it after wandering around for quite a few uh, minutes. Um, and then I went over to the cosmetics area, which was easy to find. There was loads of promotional offers. If I'm honest, because there were so many, um, I felt that um, I didn't read them all because there was so many. I found myself drawn to the makeup that I would normally buy anyway because they were the most reasonably priced. Um, after that, I went upstairs. Um, I was firstly drawn to an area that had um, three for two promotions on um, some cosmetics and some smelly sets. I had a little look and I thought, oh, well, I'll have a look at the other um, gift ideas first. Uh, but by the time I went over to the other side of the shop, I actually forgot about the the original things that I'd seen and never went back to them. Um, I bought quite a few three for two gifts um, as Christmas presents, which were really good um, deals. Um, I wanted to have a look at the photo frames um, and wasn't quite sure where they would be. So I asked a member of staff who directed me really friendly and promptly and really clear directions as to where I needed to go. Um, once I'd done that, I had a little look at the um, children's clothes. Boots isn't really somewhere that I've ever shopped for children's clothes before. I've always thought they were a little overpriced. But when I had a look, I was quite surprised, um, pleasantly surprised. Um... And ended up buying a few t-shirts that were actually in the sale and reduced from £9 down to £6, which I thought was really good for two t-shirts. Um, I then went off to have a little look at the um, toys. Um, there wasn't a huge range of toys, but there was some. Um, and I bought some games and some um, action hero um toys for my son um i feel that the prices were really good on those things um similar to the prices that i would have paid anywhere else um when it came to buying my products i suddenly thought um with the three for twos to get the best deal for myself i needed to split up the shopping um so i took my shopping through in various transactions so that I would save the most money, basically, um, which was quite, um, it was quite time consuming, but I felt for me that was what I wanted to do. When I got to the tills, there wasn't any other customers in front of me and I was looking at the checkouts thinking, oh, are they open? Because there was no um, staff behind them. And then I spotted a lady at the end filling up some shelves. And when she saw me, she came onto the tills and asked me to um, come and be served. Uh, she was really pleasant, really chatty. Um, asked me if I needed any bags, if I had a, an advantage card. Um, she also made note to me of which products were on the mix and match um, deal. Um, other than that, no um problems with going through the checkout and paying she did ask me if i wanted my change put on a gift card because they don't give um change from the vouchers um and i said that would be fine and she commented that some customers do have um a problem with that um but i was fine um and then i went out of the store and um, I left the store on a different level to what I entered, um, but again, it was nice and open, very easy to find the exit. 
Um, all in all, I would rate my shopping experience a four out of five, uh, purely and simply because I felt that the pricing on quite a few of the products just weren't there um, or weren't visible. Um, and I had to go backwards and forwards to the checkout to ask um, the prices of certain things because I couldn't find any prices on the shelves or on the boxes themselves. Um, that in itself was quite time consuming. And if I'm honest, I felt a little bit embarrassed by the fourth time I'd gone and asked um, what a price was. I don't think, even if I wanted to know the price of something else, I don't think I would have actually gone back and asked for anything else. Um, so I do think they could do with better pricing. Other than that, I was um, happy with my mystery shop. And thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to do that.